If you grew up in the 90s, you probably found yourself glued to the TV watching the Magic School Bus. The show might have ended in 1997, but it still holds a special place in our hearts. If you already know so much, Janet, why did you come to visit our class? Because Arnold told me all about your field trips, Dorothy Ann. Welcome to The Rewind. In this video, we'll be counting down the top 10 Magic School Bus episodes. Number 10. Gets Lost in Space. The episode that started it all. This episode features Arnold's cousin, Janet, who decides to pay a visit to Miss Frizzle's class. She keeps taunting the class about how her class is much better than theirs, and when Miss Frizzle enters the classroom to announce that their unusual field trip is going to be to the planetarium, everyone is shocked about how ordinary the trip is. Luckily, Miss Frizzle has a few tricks up her sleeves and decides to transform the bus into a rocket so the class can go on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to explore the solar system. What's happening? A field trip! Into outer space? Highly unusual. Number 9. In the City The class embarks on a seemingly normal field trip to the zoo, which has the kids wondering, if the animals had the opportunity to break free from the zoo, would they break free to live in natural habitats, or would they stay in this urban habitat? To teach them a lesson about these animals, Miss Frizzle transforms them into city animals and transforms the magic school bus into a bear. With this transformation, the class gets to witness firsthand how city animals live in their habitats, even if it's an urban city. It looks like a bear. A bear? We've got to call the police. Or the zoo. Number 8 goes cellular. It'd be more than a little concerning to wake up one day and find out that your skin has turned bright orange. However, this is the exact situation that Arnold finds himself in. To make matters worse, it happens on the same day that he's about to receive the Great Rock Admirers National Institute of Tectonic Experts Rocky Award, and he's the first kid to ever receive it. So, the entire class, excluding Arnold and Phoebe, go on a field trip inside of Arnold to discover why he suddenly turned this color and how they can fix it. In case you're wondering how Arnold's skin turned orange, the reason behind this strange condition is carotene. If someone eats a lot of food with high contents of carotene, like seaweedies in Arnold's case, it can result in an orange discoloration of the skin. <gasps> oh no! My seaweedies! Number 7. Inside Ralphie Arnold isn't the only person the class has taken a field trip inside of. In Inside Ralphie, the class is counting on Ralphie to provide them with ideas that they can talk about during the two-hour-long live broadcast. However, he doesn't show up. The class soon learns that Ralphie's sick, so Miss Frizzle shrinks the class and takes them inside of Ralphie's body through a cut on his leg. Or as Carlos said it, a shortcut so they can witness what goes on inside the body when someone's sick. It's a shortcut. Get it? Shortcut? Carlos, yuck! Excellent observation, Carlos. Number 6. For lunch. The body is indeed a marvelous thing, and we hope you're not tired of exploring the oh-so-many systems that make up the human body, because we're about to take a dive into the digestive system. When Arnold refuses to go on the next field trip with the class, Miss Frizzle lets him off. But it's for a good reason. Little did he know, they would be taking a field trip in his digestive system. Full speed ahead! This is insane! Consider the alternative! You know, biking is my favorite sport. Number 5. The Bussosaurus. If you grew up in the 90s, you probably remember the hype around Jurassic Park. So, it was truly the best of both worlds when the Magic School Bus covered the topic of dinosaurs. Talk about the ultimate crossover of the decade. In this episode, after Arnold sees a fossilized dinosaur egg at a dinosaur dig site, the class suddenly finds themselves back in time during the late Cretaceous period. Or 67 million years ago, to be exact. Where they get to see different species of dinosaurs. Number 4. Gets Planted Planting and gardening is one of those things that seem easy enough in theory, but is extremely difficult in practice. 
When Phoebe finds herself struggling to build a fake beanstalk that they need for a play, she decides to grow a real one instead. Unfortunately, Phoebe also fails at growing a beanstalk as her plant only reaches the stage where it sprouted. Instead of shrinking the class and going on a trip to explore the science behind how plants grow, Phoebe is transformed into a beanstalk so the class can learn more about photosynthesis. Hey, give me a break! I've only been a plant for a few seconds! Number 3. Gets ready, set, dough. When someone takes a bite out of a delicious cake, no one thinks twice about how simple ingredients like flour, sugar, milk, and cream of tartar can transform into the sweet creation they're consuming. Fortunately, this is exactly what Gets Ready, Set, Dough covers for the entirety of the episode, in order to teach viewers all about kitchen chemistry. Where did you ever get such a lovely cake? <laughs> you wouldn't believe us if we told you. The baker just gave it to us, said it was ruined. Number 2. Out of this world. It was thanks to an asteroid that the dinosaurs no longer exist, which shows the extent of damage that any asteroid can cause when it collides with our planet. After having a nightmare about an asteroid hitting Earth, Dorothy Ann does everything in her power to stop that nightmare from coming true. Now, it's on the class to protect the planet from the destructive asteroid that's heading for Earth. Follow that asteroid! There's gotta be more than one way to destroy it! Number 1. Going Batty Perhaps one of the ultimate plot twists you'd never expect to see in a kid's show, Going Batty covers the topic of vampires. Bats have always been associated with horror, when in reality these creatures are worthy of admiration. So when Ralphie accidentally transforms the class into bats, they soon start learning that these creatures are much more than their reputation. What if Ralphie's right? What if Ms. Frizzle is a vampire? No way, it's not true, Ralphie's never right. What do you think of our list? Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Check out these other videos from The Rewind, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video again.